have been really enjoying using Ecamm Live and using my Z6 and Z7 connected via USB with my computer without needing any HDMI adapter. But I wanted to push the limits uh, a little bit. I wanted to see how much I could plug in wirelessly and continue to be able to stream effectively. So I am showing you now a real, really wireless setup. Uh, I've only got one thing plugged in with wires and that's only because I don't have two Tether Tools Air Direct devices at the moment, although I'd like to get another one. So the camera that I'm talking to you on now is plugged in via USB. It is connected, it's a, a long Tether Tools cable connected to Ecamm Live directly. But that's the only thing plugged in. So this is the Air Direct. Uh, it's plugged in to the camera and it is sending a video signal directly to Ecamm Live. So right now you can see the video signal that it's sending. It's very clear, uh, within my studio it stays really strong and there's no lag. If I push it further away from the building, there are dropouts, um, but I am still to test boosting the signal to see how far I can actually send this device. But within the studio it's perfect. Now I'm also using a, uh, an app called Stream Deck. There are devices that are made by Stream Deck, um, but this app enables me to control Ecamm Live on my phone over the Wi-Fi, so I can click next scene, previous scene. I can set up any buttons that I want, really. So I have got that. I can control Ecamm Live without being near the computer that's running Ecamm Live, which is all the way over there in my studio. Now. I also have a little microphone on here. It's the little Rode Wireless Go. Uh, they're great, they're pretty new out and they're so easy to use. And I've got that connected to the computer on the other end. So it's a wireless lapel. I can connect it up to whoever I want, clip it on, clip it off. Uh, and it is connected to my Mac. It's connected via a HN1, a Zoom HN1 device into my Mac. So I've got wireless audio, I've got wireless camera, and I also have wireless computer. So this computer is my Wacom Mobile Studio Pro. I love this device. I take it with me everywhere and I particularly use it for Photoshop work. It's uh, really powerful. Now what I wanted was a way of sending the picture, the screen, through to Ecamm Live without being connected via any wires, without going HDMI out, HDMI in, and so forth. So I have set up NDI, an NDI scan on the Windows device. It's very, very easy to do, so I'll take you through that. But what it does, it is, it allows me to send my screen directly into Ecamm Live via my Wi-Fi signal. So I am simply connected via no wires and I am able to do this with very little lag. So as you can see, if I switch back and forth and I draw, it's great. So I can send my screen, it's a terrible drawing, I can send my screen straight through to Ecamm Live and I don't have to be connected to anything at all, which means I can place it anywhere in the studio that I want. I don't need to be tangled with wires. So how do we set this up? Well, you just go to the software or the, the page called ndi.tv and if you go through to the bottom of that, you will find where you can install it. This is free. Uh, I installed NDI tools for Windows because this is a Windows device. And once you've downloaded it, go through the install. I just did the default. I didn't do anything special. Uh, once it's installed, you find you can run it. And it's the NDI scan converter. You can set up different uh, settings here, different frame rates using the monitor frame rate or your own. Um, if you want audio to come through and so forth. So you can send all of that through, but I really didn't need to do anything. I just 
installed it and then what happens? Straight away, it comes up as a camera source in Ecamm Live. Now you do need to be running the pro version of Ecamm Live, but it comes up as a camera source in Ecamm Live, really, really simple. So it's pretty exciting to be able to do all of this wirelessly and to not have wires and for it to work really well, to work just about as good as it does when wired. I really haven't noticed any different, any, any lag or anything like that. So I hope this is exciting for you guys too. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask and yell out. I am gonna press finish on my mobile.